station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Kayla LaFrance. A tool that once helped guide sailors across vast oceans for centuries is now being put to the test in space. The crew has been testing out a sextant, a device with a small telescope-like sight that could take precise measurements between pairs of stars. These were actually used in the early days of human spaceflight on programs like Gemini and Apollo. And mission planners are once again looking at how they can be used for emergency navigation needs on deep space exploration vehicles like Orion. And as a part of the ongoing year of education on station, astronaut Ricky Arnold caught up with educators in a very special location. The Challenger Center in Washington, D.C. was created by the families of the Challenger STS-51L shuttle crew. Astronaut Ricky Arnold joined teachers gathered there for a special update. As a science teacher, um, I am here wrapping up a year in education on station because of that Challenger mission and because of all the folks involved in the teacher and space program and the people who kept that dream alive. And it's an incredible honor for me to play a really small part in, uh, in bringing this part of the mission to completion. With these lessons now available, be sure to go and check them out. Krista McAuliffe was set to be the first teacher in space and had planned a series of science demonstrations to be shared with classrooms around the world. By using the unique microgravity astronauts experience in space, students can experience a whole new way to see basic science concepts like Newton's law come to life. You can watch the lost lessons or even download instructions on how to do them in your own classroom at challenger.org slash Krista. It's truly heartrending to witness. That's what Expedition 56 flight engineer Oleg Artemyev tweeted this week as he and other crew members flew over the wildfires in California. These are some of the images taken from the station of the largest wildfire in California's recorded history. You can see these photos and others of our planet by following the crew right now on Twitter. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag SpaceToGround. We'll see you next week.